Hey guys, this is Celeste. For those of you who are watching this on YouTube and not on my blog, let me give you a quick introduction. I'm a pharmacist and I worked in retail pharmacy for 14 years until I found myself on the other side of the counter as a patient for seven years. And during that seven years, God taught me many lessons and showed me the pitfalls that patients can fall into with prescription drugs. So I want to do a tutorial for you today to show you how to check for your drug interactions. This is my blog for those of you who um, haven't seen it before and just FYI you can subscribe right here in your email if you'd like to get it in your email when I post a blog. I promise I won't send you a bunch of junk. Only my blog. Okay. Go up to your browser and clear out what's there and the site you want to go to is drugs.com D-R-U-G-S dot com return and that will take you to drugs.com right over here on the right you want to register so we're going to walk through that even though I already have an account I'm going to make a new one I'm going to put, punch in my email address okay and I'm going to make a username and my password And I will select my age, which thank goodness I'm still in that group, but close. And I would check I'm a healthcare professional, though since most of you probably are not, I'm going to leave that unchecked. You can sign up for newsletters, but if you don't want a bunch of junk in your inbox, then I wouldn't do that. And then you have to punch in whatever they ask you to punch in here to make sure you're, you're not spam accept the terms and register okay and now this is just a bunch of stuff that you can do for your account um, I don't usually mess with that stuff alright what we're gonna go right to now is interactions so up here in the blue bar it gives you some choices and you wanna go to interactions checker you have to agree to their little terms here again to say that they're not held liable and this was something I was playing with earlier so ignore that you will have a blank slate okay your interactions list is empty it should, should be what it says when it pops up so we're gonna do the example like I did um, in my last blog post we'll use those medications Cymbalta and see it will once you start typing it in it will give you your choice just make sure it's whatever it says on your prescription bottle make sure you're punching the same thing um, Cymbalta is for depression. We'll use Imitrex, which is used for migraine headaches. And we will use, um, I'm going to throw an antibiotic in there. So you have a sinus infection. We'll just use a Moxel. And then last, we will use a cough syrup like Delson, which is over the counter. And walk in any drugstore and buy it. All right, so we've got this. We've got this list. And granted, Amoxil and Delson would not be things you regularly take, but we're going to save the list, and you can give it another name or you can leave it my drugs list. Save list. Okay, and now that you've got your list there, you're going to say check for interactions. All right. Now, here we go. Interactions between your selected drugs. You've got a major interaction between the Delsim and the Cymbalta. You've got a major interaction between the Imitrex and the Cymbalta. And then you've got a drug food interaction with Cymbalta telling you that certain drugs or um, beverages you should not drink with Cymbalta or eat with Cymbalta. And then here's a little interesting thing other drugs that your selected drugs interact with. Amoxyl, more than 30 other drugs. Cymbalta, more than 500 other drugs. Delsim, more than 50 other drugs. Imitrex, more than 40 other drugs. It is so difficult for a pharmacist, as busy as they are, to have time to go over every interaction with every patient. Um, one more thing I want to show you here is 
if you happen to be a health professional or if you had checked the health professional box, you're going to have much more, um, much more medical lingo here in the paragraph that's telling you about the interaction. But you can switch back and forth. If I hit switch to professional data, then you'll see it gets, you get a lot more words that you might not realize. If you are a health professional, though, you might want to read the health professional data. Otherwise, leave it on the consumer interaction data. And then if you want to print this out to take to your doctor or your pharmacist, I don't hesitate to do that because that helps hold them accountable to make sure they're giving you all the information and not leaving anything out. Because like I said, it is so hard for pharmacists and doctors. Nobody knows everything. And it's very difficult for them to cover everything with as busy as they are. So that is the tutorial for today. I hope that you will um, gain something from it and um, put in your medications and see if anything interacts. And if they do, then go to your pharmacist or go to your doctor and ask some questions about it. Watch for another tutorial. Um, maybe next week we'll do one on pill identification or side effects or something else. But anything that helps you become more knowledgeable about your health is a good thing. As busy as things are today, as busy as pharmacies are, pharmacists, doctors, the, the craziness of insurance, any way you can help control, take some control and responsibility for your own health is a good thing. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks. See y'all next week.